We immigrated uh, to the United States uh, in 1954. I was only five years old. We came to the United States on the Mauritania, in Cunard's Mauritania. Our first home was in Manhattan. As a kid, I was going to a day school in, in the Jersey side over the George Washington Bridge. So I was on that West Side Highway seeing all those amazing ocean liners every day and uh, remember being fascinated by them, but never knowing that I would wind up in, very much involved in the industry. We had a long relationship with the owners of Cunard, and they tried to sell us Cunard. And obviously, we were in the business of buying brands, and the movie Titanic came out. My daughter talked me into seeing it, saying that there was much more to it, the love story and the, the tradition and the romance of transatlantic cruising. The success of the movie struck me at the time as a feeling of nostalgia, a desire to go back to the past, a desire for a kind of a simpler life, a simpler world. And that's when we kind of got together and, and said, let's see if we can build another transatlantic liner. Now to do that, we had to buy Kinnard. So most people think we bought Kinnard and then we built Queen Mary. The reality is we needed Kinnard if we wanted to build a transatlantic liner. Queen Mary was kind of the concept that, that we were heading toward. People who wanted to experience that feeling that their parents or grandparents or great grandparents did the nostalgia of going back to that kind of simpler time that, um, that we needed to build a new ship. And it was a very, very challenging project because no one had built a, a liner in many, many decades. She can handle virtually any kind of weather conditions in a comfortable way where you can enjoy sailing even in, in very rough weather. Uh, and she was built that way. I mean, she's really a powerful ship and a very, very special ship. When we decided what, what is the Kennard brand, it's many things, but the one thing it, it for sure we wanted it to be was the brand of the Queens. And that's why we set out to build Queen Victoria, Queen Elizabeth, and Queen Mary. After uh, the major remastering project was announced, I talked to my wife and said, you know, it would be great to see how they've redone the ship and how it came out and, and how it works uh, on a transatlantic voyage. And so we finally did it. You wake up every morning and there it is, you're at sea, and you get into this kind of almost hypnotic thing where every day, you know, you get up and you have your breakfast. If it's sunny, you go out and get on the balcony and get some sun, or you go, go to a spa, go to the King's Court. It's amazing, the popularity of those balls. You know, the ballroom is always full and people dancing to the big band. It really is very much nostalgic, but with that large ship capability, with incredible service and an incredible brand ambiance that's unique to Cunard. It's not really a cruise brand, it's a, it's a voyage, and a crossing is a unique bucket list experience. It's really something um, you should try once, but don't be surprised if you're gonna to wanna to do it again after you've tried it once. <laughs>